In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this six rectangular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added one big rectangle here where you can add the company headlines or the title and then add some detailed text. And then I have added this rectangle in different positions and then you can add the icon, the title, detailed text along with the option number and this option numbers I've given some different color boxes you can see here like this and then at the bottom i've added some shadow effect as well and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you'd like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes i'm going to add a rectangle here draw a rectangle maybe this much size or you can make it like uh, three as height and six as width so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease later on also and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color of your choice then once this is done i'm going to add a few rectangles again so i can go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline i'm going to give uh, maybe black and shape fill i'm going to give some light color and then later on i'm going to remove that color so now the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to rotate it with the help of this arrow can you see this one just put it like this one uh, only one part only should be uh, uh, intersecting with this uh, the the big rectangle first of all i'm going to right mouse click go to format shape under fill make it somewhat transparent so you know exactly how much area is going to intersect so this is the first one then press ctrl d to duplicate and then using the arrow key i'm just going to more rotate like that and then i'm going to put it like this you can see here let me just put it like this so this is my second rectangle Control d i'm going to put it here one more rectangle like this you can see here press Control d and then i'm going to rotate it the other side and i'm going to put the rectangle here and then i'm going to duplicate again and i'm going to put it something like this we can see here and the last one rotate it and then i'm just going to add it here let me just rotate further and i'll move this up like this so depending on your requirement you can move it like this or i don't want this much i want very less to be visible here i can make it like this you can see here let me just arrange it properly only some part only has to come and then this one i have to arrange once again you can see here and then this one i have to move it a little bit we need to just arrange it a little bit all right okay so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all the objects by pressing ctrl a all right and then go to the shape format merge shape i'm going to make it fragment just click the fragment here so you end up getting something like this now i'm going to select all shape outline i'm going to make it no outline okay so this also no outline and this color as i said i'm going to change that one to some dark colors and then here this one i'm going to give some different colors you can see here a separate sorry for that Control z yeah so for this i'm going to select and give any color of my choice only this part you can see here maybe i'm going to give some this color and for this i'm going to give maybe a red color and for these things i'm going to add the outline outline if you want you can add the same color outline for example i'm going to select this one shape outline 
I'm going to use the eyedropper and I'm just selecting this one and then if you want you can increase the weight of this you can see here maybe three points so now this one shape outline using the eyedropper I'm selecting this one and increase the weight to three and for this shape outline I'm going to make it eyedropper this color and outline with three like this so similarly we need to just uh, do the same thing I'm going to click this one shape outline and the weight is three let's do this for continue uh, soon so let me just select the eyedropper and then change the weight the last one the green and the weight three points okay so this is done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold the shift key and select these rectangles and if you don't want any shape fill color you can remove it you can make it no fill so it it will look something like this all right and once this is done you can add some options here or the title here go to insert text box i'm going to add your headline center align make it white font i'm giving i'm selecting open sans increase the size depending on your requirement make it bold and then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text equals lorem within bracket it will give me some latin text again white font center align reduce the size and put it here all right so once this is done you can go to insert and you can add some icons if you want i'm just uh, selecting some six icons randomly it will take some time so some random icon selection i'm doing okay and one more click on insert move this one here make the height and width as 0.5 only and if you want to change the color you can change the color also so now i'm just going to put it one by one here you can see here and then you can add the text here add text or detail text here reduce the size put it here press ctrl d to duplicate so like this you can just add any text of your choice here and then if you like to do some animation also you can just add the animation of your choice if you want otherwise you can just leave it as it is